Hello everybody, I am Dr. Rupa Anantashivan, Consultant Radiologist at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. It gives me great pleasure to address you today, the 125th anniversary of the discovery of X-rays by William Rongen in 1895. After this commendable discovery, this speciality has grown in leaps and bounds. From the very first X-ray that William Rongen took of his wife's left hand with her wedding ring in place, we have come to images done with contrast or dye within the veins and vessels and arteries, what we call angiography, to contrast within the kidneys, the ureter and the bladder, what we call the intravenous urography, contrast within the biliary system, cholangiography and many more. Then decades later, in 1970, Jeffrey Hounsfield made a great discovery using the same principle that William Rongen had first set out, the CT scan. This consists of multiple x-rays which are taken off the body and combined to give a 3D image. Since that discovery in 1972, which took nearly half an hour to take the CT scan of a single brain, we have ultra fast CT scans these days which can actually take complete images of even the arterial supply of the heart or the brain in a matter of seconds. We also have the PET CT which combines the structural information which a CT scan can give with the functional information to tell us how big the tumour is, is it active, is it responding to treatment or not. On the other hand, we also have the non-radiation imaging devices like the ultrasound, a very commonly used uh, imaging device, particularly in pregnant women because it is very safe for them to assess how the fetus is growing, whether it has many, any abnormalities, to evaluate children who uh, do not respond well to radiation. On the other hand, we also have the MRI, which was discovered after the CT, which does not use the principle of radiation, but also comes under the purview of the radiologist, where we can get exquisite images of the brain and the spinal cord, which can tell the surgeon exactly what is happening even before he enters the operating theater. So radiology in the last 125 years has emerged as one of the most sought of specialities among doctors. It's an integral part of all hospitals. It helps doctors not only to make a correct and uh, diagnosis and to assess the patient before uh, treatment, but it also helps to treat the patient also. Now radiologists also with this imaging which uh, Ronjan first gave us are helping to treat patients. They are he uh, helping to open up blocked vessels, angioplasty. They are uh, helping block unnecessary bleeding vessels, which is known as embolization. So once again, I'm very happy to uh, greet you all on this uh, great day. We've had some challenges over the last 125 years and the last one was in the last one year where we had to uh, confront the COVID pandemic. Radiology also was affected by that. We had to be very careful while treating all patients and uh, coming in contact to all patients, particularly when we were doing ultrasound where we we're in close contact with the patient. We had to wear full PPE while doing very intricate procedures on patients like angioplasties or embolizations or biliary drainages or biopsies. So here's to another 125 years of great uh, inventions in this great speciality of radiology. Thank you all.